Montana State University researchers have discovered that baking soda, the same ingredient that causes cookies to rise in the oven, can dramatically increase algae production for oil for biodiesel. In the last couple of years, the uh, idea for biofuels has come back. And this time I don't think it's going to go away because we have some very big players. All the oil companies are involved, the airlines, and most importantly, the Department of Defense. They're the biggest energy users in the world, and they are already using algal biofuels in some of their uh, facilities. If you look at the logistics of producing oil from algae, they require about a tenth or even less land uh, to grow in ponds than, say, uh, palm oil. And palm oil is the best producer. It may be, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it may be ten times as efficient as, as corn. In other words, corn is very inefficient to make oil. It's also food, and we don't really want to interfere with the uh, food system of, of the country or even the world. Scientists have been searching for nearly 20 years for the elusive chemical trigger to boost oil production in algae. Well, baking soda is uh, the common name for a compound called sodium bicarbonate. It's a source of carbon dioxide which algae use to grow. Of course, all plants and algae are plants uh, utilize carbon dioxide. That's the other big advantage over using crude oil. When you burn crude oil, uh, you release carbon dioxide. When you burn algal oil, uh, you still release carbon dioxide, but you have already fixed that carbon dioxide. So what you're doing is recycling. It's not going to clean up the atmosphere, but it won't make it any worse. Our graduate student, uh, Rob Gardner, has been investigating what we did 20 years ago. 20 years ago, we missed the timing. And adding the bicarbonate, or baking soda as we'd like to call it, uh, at a particular time stimulates the algae to accumulate uh, oil. If you add it too soon, they don't accumulate it. If you add it too late, they don't accumulate it. You have to add it at a particular time. And 20 years ago, we just missed that. Now we found it. When I was able to come across our, uh, our trigger for making the algae accumulate oil, um, it, was a, it was a very happy day. We, we fought this for a long time and uh, took a lot of thought going into this and trial and error. And finally, we stumbled across the right answer. And I guess that happens a lot in science, but that was a really good day. So I think it's really important that everybody realize that if algae is going to be successful and be feasible to be used as an alternative fuel source, we need to minimize how long it takes to grow the cultures and maximize how much oil they can make. If you can do things twice as quickly, you have a bigger throughput, you have a bigger profit. I've been surprised um, quite a bit. The algae are they're just like any other living organisms. They're, uh, sometimes they're picky and sometimes they're they're uh, difficult to manage, but if you can make them happy, they can make you happy.